with a new diagnosis of advanced kidney cancer, there's usually not an urgency to start within a week. And there's time to be thoughtful about this, to ask questions, and to get another opinion to make sure if surgery is best up front, is surgery best later, is therapy best up front, is a clinical trial appropriate up front. Let's talk about localized kidney cancer. Kidney cancer presents as a renal mass or a mass on the kidney. And it comes in all sort of varieties. It can be solid, it can be cystic. And a lot of these renal masses are actually benign. Uh, and that's important to understand that if you have a diagnosis of a renal mass, it doesn't actually mean that you have cancer. And now we have more and more tools to try to tease out whether this mass is benign or malignant before we rush in there to do surgery. And that's important to discuss and, and understand. The specialist whom you see is going to have opinions about how, um, how this should be managed and treated. Um, things like biopsies, things like systemibi scans, those are the tools that are used to try to minimize overtreatment of especially um, benign masses to really prove that this is a malignancy and that they really need surgery. The key things we want to look at is whether or not the person has metastatic disease or not. If they don't have metastatic disease, then uh, they would typically undergo nephrectomy, and then we would make a determination of whether or not adjuvant therapy is appropriate. For people who have metastatic disease, the the questions we will be asking are, number one, what kind of kidney cancer are we dealing with? Because there's clear cell and there's non-clear cell or variant histologies, they're also called, and we treat, those, we treat them differently. The second question really is, uh, have the patient, has the patient received prior lines of therapy, yes or no? And that would also define how we, we treat them. And then the third big question is something called um, the, the overall sort of prognostic criteria. Do I need to lose my whole kidney or just part of the kidney? And that is generally um, a conversation we have after looking at the films, the typically a CT scan or MRI. And we decide based on the location, the size, uh, the overall renal function of the patient, and then other factors such as uh, their health, et cetera. In general, we try to spare kidneys when we can. Uh, sometimes we can't, unfortunately, but most people will still be okay with just one kidney, just like if you donated a kidney to a friend. Many of us believe saving the kidney is a good thing. Now, the most common reason I think most people don't get a partial re uh, kidney removal as opposed to a complete is because many doctors just feel more comfortable taking out the whole kidney. That's just how they were trained. And you could use a laparoscope or a robot for it. The recovery is quicker. The complications are less. We really do everything we can to try to save the kidney. Robotic surgery has now become the standard for many types of kidney tumors, uh, which has you know, made the recovery a little bit faster. It's not a better operation per se than open surgery, but it is a little bit of a faster recovery. So that, from that perspective, that's been good for the patients. But really the main advances have been in the advanced disease, which includes uh, development of both immunotherapy and better targeted therapies, which has really dramatically improved both the quality of life and quantity of life of our patients. Not every um, community has a comprehensive cancer center, but most communities have an academic medical center. They have multidisciplinary teams that can give you not just a treatment for your disease, but a treatment plan for your disease that involves all the different potential expertise that you might need in order to get the best outcome. And so, I typically advise patients that it's much more important to do the right thing um, than the fast thing. And it's worth their while to get a second opinion at an academic medical center that's nearby, even if they have to drive a little ways, to make sure they're getting the right treatment before they embark on it.